What's up guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. Rumors are starting to spread more information about Samsung's next upcoming high-end smartphone, the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Its predecessor's design is said to be recycled and it would include a titanium frame and EV style battery. Now that ICE Universe has revealed some information about its camera specifications, the Galaxy S24 Ultra will have a 50 MP 3X telephoto lens. Although the precise sensor is unknown, it should be an updated version of the 10 MP module used in the Galaxy S23 Ultra. However, the new information contradicts the leaker's prior claim that the 3X telephoto sensor IMX754 would use a 12 MP sensor. In addition, it indicated that the primary 200 MP camera sensor ISO cell HP2 12 MP Ultra wide angle lens and 12 MP 10X periscope lens IMX754 plus were here to stay. Furthermore, a different report that said the Ultra's telephoto lens will feature 5x optical zoom is refuted by ICE Universe's most recent claim. In addition to the camera information, the S24 series will arrive with another big set of improvements, including better displays, improved cameras, faster processors, bigger batteries, and faster chargers. According to a recent report from Chosen Media, a 16GB RAM option is believed to be available for the Galaxy S24 Ultra along with a one terabyte of internal storage. South Korean tabloid asserts, citing an industry insider, that the M13, the company's 13th generation AMOLED panel, will be found on all three Galaxy S24 versions and as per the reports, the new display panel is slimmer, more energy efficient and produces better images. The Exynos 2400 processor, according to the study, might help Samsung offset the expense of these enhancements while dual sourcing processors from Qualcomm and Samsung System LSI will save the company money. While the North American market may get the Snapdragon variants of the S24 series, the Exynos version is anticipated to debut in Europe and several Asian nations. However, leaks aren't always reliable, therefore there can undoubtedly be false information circulating. So I think it is always wise to wait till more leakers weigh in before arriving at any conclusions. That said, I'll be ending the discussion for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.